show that 1 over 6x squared plus 7x minus 5x divided by 1 over 4x squared minus 1 simplifies into the form ax plus b over cx plus d, where a, b, c, and d are integers. Okay, so in questions like this where we've got simplify and we've got some quadratics, what you quite often have to do is factorise the quadratics. And what that essentially means is put it into brackets. So hopefully you'll see what I mean in a minute. We're going to start off with this um, expression here. So we're going to factorise 6x squared plus 7x minus 5. I'm going to show you a little trick you can do with this. Um, so they're a little bit more tricky when we have a coefficient here in front of the x squared, which isn't 1. Um, so whenever you've got that, you can use this little trick. So the first step, the first thing we have to do is we multiply uh, the coefficient of x squared by the constant here at the end. So in this case, we're going to take the 6 and multiply it by minus 5. So I'm going to do that here, 6 multiplied by minus 5. And that's going to give us minus 30. We now need to find a set of two numbers that when you multiply them together, make this number here. So minus 30 in this case. And when you add them together, create this number here. Uh, so the coefficient of x, so in this case, 7. So in this case, the two numbers that will work are 10 and minus 3. Because if we do 10 multiplied by minus 3, we get minus 30. So that's perfect. And if we do 10 plus minus 3, so essentially just 10 minus 3, we get 7, which is perfect. So those work. So our numbers are 10 and minus 3 in this case. Then the next step is we write out our brackets and we look up and we see, okay, so we've got 6x squared here. So in each of these brackets, I'm going to put 6x and I'm going to fill the other end with the numbers. Um, so we got plus 10 and minus 3. And the next step is we need to look and try and simplify the brackets. So what I mean by that, I'm going to have a look at the first bracket first. And you can see I can divide both by 2. So if I do that, I'll get 3x here plus 5. And I can't simplify that anymore. So we're good with that. Now we're going to do that with the other bracket here. I can see I can divide both by 3. So I'm left with 2x and minus 1 here. And that there is the fully factorised form. Brilliant. So now I'm going to look at the other quadratic. So we've got 4x squared minus 1. Now this one's a bit different. This is a special form of quadratic called the difference of two squares. So basically what that means is you can do this. So if you've got something in the form a squared minus b squared, its factorised form is a plus b, a minus b. And we have that here. This is actually an example of difference of two squares. And I'll show you how. So if we take the first term here, I can rewrite that as 2x all squared. And look at our second term, we've got minus 1 all squared. So if we look up here, okay, so our a is 2x, and our b is 1. So factorising this, we're going to get 2x plus 1, 2x minus 1. It's great, so this is the factorisation of that quadratic. So now we've factorised and we've got that here, we can go about answering the question. So we're going to write out the question, replacing the quadratic with the factorised form. So this is what we get here. This is what we're now trying to work out. And we can use this rule here. If we have a over b as a fraction, for example, divided by c over d, that equals a over b multiplied by d over c, which equals a d over bc. So essentially the rule is that when you're dividing by a fraction you flip this fraction over and then multiply them. So doing that to this we're going to be left with 2x plus 1 multiplied by 2x minus 1 on the top all divided by 3x plus 5 on the bottom and 2x minus 1 on the bottom like that. Now what we can now see we've got a common factor on the top and the bottom of the fraction. So we can cancel um, it down. So we can cancel this bracket and this bracket like this. So we're going to be left with 2x plus 1 all over 3x plus 5. And that is the answer to this question. We got it in the form ax plus b over cx plus d. So a is 2, b is 1, c is 3, and d is 5.
And in this three mark question, you get one mark for getting either of these factorizations correct. You get another mark for this part here. So realizing you can use the rule um, to flip the second fraction over, take its reciprocal and multiply them together. And you get the third and final mark for the correct answer down here.